Well, good morning. Yes, we are back on this uh, Wednesday morning and you are with George at Growth Point, growing as you are going. And we are asking this one question this entire week. Who do you say Jesus is? is remember this jesus asked his disciples in in matthew 28 uh, in mark 28 sorry and and he asked them this question and uh, we know peter turns around he's bold he turns around and he says you are the christ the son of the living god now again we have to come to this realization who jesus christ is now you might have various answers as well besides jesus being your lord and savior yesterday we, we discovered as well he's our shepherd today I believe Jesus Christ came to defeat death on your behalf. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, but you say, but people are still dying. Yeah, but you know what? In their death, they are resurrected into this the very presence of God. Wonderful to note that this, when we die, a door is open into the presence of God. Why? Because Jesus defeated death on the cross of Calvary. Now, in Mark chapter 9, verse 31, um, Let's read there, verse 31, blah, 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 blah. we'll get to it, verse 31. For he wanted to spend time with his disciples and teach them. He said to him, the son of man is going to be betrayed into the hands of the enemies. He will be killed. But listen to what he says. But three days later, he will rise from the dead. Why? to conquer death on your behalf. Wow. So who do you say Jesus Christ is? He's Lord and Savior of my life. Yes, he's the shepherd of my life. Yes, he's the one that conquered death. Now to give me life eternal. Now immortality has come to dwell inside of me. Whoa. Death might, might take me from this place that I'm living. But you know what? It's going to bring me into the, into the presence of God. And there I will be able to spend eternity with him. Have you ever thought of the road that Jesus had to take for you? Just one moment again. Remember, I said this in the beginning. God stepped out of heaven. How did that happen? <laughs> Come on. We're still trying to get that out and figure it. One day we'll have the answer when we stand before him. And again, he took a road, a specific road. He walked a specific road. He became man. Listen to what I'm saying. He became man, yet fully God. Man, yet fully God. Whoa. How did that work? I don't know. But he was man, yet fully God. And he did this. He became man on your behalf to help you, to encourage you, to lead you, to guide you, to be that shepherd that he desires to be for you. So he stepped out of heaven to walk the same life that you would face, to face the same devil you would face, and again today to overcome, to show us how to overcome the onslaught of the enemy. Remember that scripture in Genesis where, where God warned Cain and said, the devil is there crouching at your door, ready to devour you. But you need to learn how to subdue, to overcome, to rule, to take authority over him. And again today, this, I need you to know that you have authority over the enemy because of that of what Jesus Christ did for you. So again, look at this. When you face that devil, remember... Jesus faced him too. If you face that temptation that you, you're struggling to overcome, remember this, Jesus faced that same temptation for you on your behalf so that you could overcome it. Again, we have to put our faith and our trust in that of what Jesus Christ did. You see, he faced the same hunger pain. And this is what we don't understand. The same hunger pains that you experience, he experienced this himself. Why? To to help you, to show you the way back to the Father, to come to conquer death on your behalf so that you could have life. Do you know that Jesus was dependent upon hand, handouts to get him by the day? Hmm? God who created this, all this that we see, the stars in the sky, the sun, the moon, everything around us, he created all this, yet he was dependent upon handouts from people, yet he suffered the same as what you suffered. Yet he, he suffered the, uh, and faced the same temptations as what you and I face daily. He faced hunger pains just like you and I do. Huh? Can you imagine that? You see, his constant loggerheads with the religious who followed him with the only desire to find fault with his teaching. 
He, he felt the pain of those people criticizing him. And, and, and again, he did this way for you and I. You see, as we draw closer to the Passover, we will once more be reminded that he was condemned to die on a Roman cross for you. I mean, come on, think about it. He was pure in every way, but yet he was willing to take that sin, your sin, my sin, become that sin, die upon the cross, that we could have life. The jury that condemned him was rigged. We know it right from the beginning. The religious condemned him to death, forcing Pilate to nail him to a Roman cross, the cruelest death that man could ever face. Why? Because the gift of God was given to you and I to give us life. And so again on this Wednesday, I want to ask you that question once more. Who do you say Christ is? You have to answer that to become part of that, what God is doing in your life. Mm -hmm.